Right. I said it would be obvious and stupid, and it was obvious. It was literally... Seriously? That's what I have to do? Endure agony? Are you serious? Yeah, so back to what I was saying. I was in this house, and I think I said, I'm going to check the rest of the house. We'll check the basement after I check the rest of the house. And I didn't. Let me electrocute myself. Why would anyone, like, do that, like, on purpose? Electrocute themselves on purpose. Right, let me use another med kit. And another one. Right, pick that up. So I had to electrocute myself to open a door. This is stupid. Either way, I figured out where the other writer passage was and the other one. I know how to open it now. Don't know why I didn't think of it before, but then I don't see why I would have thought of it. Okay, what's this? Date May 5th. Concerned parties. Victor Garcia. Conrad Realities. Background. The document is a record of transfer of assets between Victor Garcia and Conrad Realities. Realities? A statement from Victor Garcia. I, Victor Garcia, am hereby transferring the ownership of 10 Romero Horror Awards trophies to Conrad Realities. The reason for this transfer of assets is the awards should never have been in my possession due to the misuse of the operating system. Constant. The exact mis misuse being that I repeatedly gave the operating system constant prompts to write an award-winning horror film, the output of which I used to produce five different films. Werewolf Woman of the Wasteland, The Swarm of Giant Killer Bees, Attack of the Killer Con wait, Carnivorous Plants, Night of the Mutant Carnivores, and What the Dead Said, without crediting OSK or Conrad Realities. Realities. I acknowledge that by using the artificial intelligence operating system constant to create the scripts without appropriate wait, accreditation, I am in direct breach of the OSK user agreement section 12 intellectual property subsection B ownership and entitlements. In terms of agreement 1, all Romero Horror Award trophies will be immediately become the property of Conrad Realities. 2, any future real royalties or earnings Victor Garcia occurs from the films concerned are to be transferred to the non-profit organization CEA campaign to embrace artificial intelligence. Three, the OSK Corporation will not seek legal resource if points one and two of the terms of the agreement are met. Signed by Victor Garcia, signed by Pamela White on behalf of Comet Realities, witnessed by Angela Lemar. So the guy made up films from an AI. So the AI made the films, he just created it. I brought it to life. What the hell is all that noise? Wait, what? Oh, wait, is this... Okay. The fuck? It locked itself. What? Oh, of course. Oh, 
Alright, go on, get on that and blow yourselves up. And another one. Give me that. Is that it? Is it over? I think so. There's a door. And the door just opens, okay. This place is fucking with me. And that door just closed. Is the door open? Okay. Right. I won't go on the grass just yet. Let me check the rest of the house first. Okay, nothing in there. Okay, that's blocked off. What's in here? No says. Let me read this. Eleanor, 10.17pm. The first Friday of every month is, in my, is my cheat day. My favourite day. It's just such a perfect way to let off steam starting off that first weekend with a different stranger every month. My husband would be heartbroken if he ever found out. Oh, so she's cheating. With a guy every week? No, every month. Coffee, 9.01pm. I go to regular bingo nights at my local social club, but I've never won. It's not that I don't ever get winning numbers. I'm just still working up the courage to shout bingo to a room full of people. Why do you go to bingo if you haven't got any courage for something so stupid like that? You haven't got the courage to just say bingo? What? That makes no... That's stupid. Um, Viera, 8.13pm. Nobody knows the real story of how I got to America. I tell a different tale every time. I've been kidnapped by traffickers. Um, schmoozed pirates... Won a relocation lottery, the truth is, I emigrated here with my parents when I was 17 years old. I move states too often to hold friendships and still have a strong Russian accent, so people believe anything I tell them. Boring, I know. You got Rowan, 7.26pm. I testified against my best friend in court. Lied on the stand about a crime I committed. He was sentenced to five years in prison. Never tried to give up, give me up. Never even tried to deny it. I'm so sorry, Leah. I'm sorry, but I'm never going to hand myself in. Wow. What a bitch. Talia, 6.15pm. So I made the mistake of maybe slightly of exaggerating my cooking abilities to someone I was interested in. When she then asked if I cook her dinner, I panicked and ordered a takeout that I presented to her as my own home cooked dish. She loved it and ever since then I've been buying store port meals and passing them off as my own. When she comes around we've been together two years now. John 5.38pm I started embezzling money from my own family's business three years ago. It's certainly driving them to bankruptcy but I've managed to take off every item on my bucket list with the extra funds. Work smarter not harder. Well, how was that smart? None of that is smart. If anything, it's working harder, not smarter, because you're making it hard for your family's business, which is not smart. Poppy, 4.06pm.
Okay. My housemate decided to get a hamster for our flat last year. I didn't want to look after a hamster, but my housemate is always away on work trips. So somehow that duty became mine. Well, one day I had enough and that had enough. And that running wheel was just driving me crazy. So I put nipples in the freezer. When she found him, I pretended to be devastated, conducted this really elaborate funeral music, made a speech. Then she got a rabbit. That munchy fucker can thank the rabbit, guys. I got invited here when I did. She put. How the hell did she get away with putting a hamster in a freezer? And that's catalogue of secrets and transfer of assets. Crazy bitch. Crazy bitch. So now that opens. Fucking finally. Alright. Yeah, I'll open the door. What's with the red lights? Or is this a... It's one of those... Well, I can't remember what it's called. It's like the room where you, like, go through all the pictures. Like, what's it called? The red room? Red room? Okay, what's on? How are they doing that? How are they opening the doors on their own like that? Okay, let me check the attic. Give confession? What have I got to confess? Okay, well this is interesting. What's Ryan gonna say? Okay, my other card's not really a Cadillac. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, I thought that was it. My uh, brother lives with me. I look after him because he's special. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could just live my life without him. Sorry, bro. Oh, whatever it takes. Why, where is his brother? Because I thought the whole point of the story... I'm not sure if that's just for Ryan's character or it's like the same with the other characters. They have a, they have a sibling they're trying to get to. But I thought that was the whole point of the story, at least at the start. Ryan's trying to find his brother, and it's like... We never go to find him. It's like... Has Ryan just, for, like, forgotten about him? Shit. Because I thought that was the whole point of the story, at least at the start. We were trying to find his brother, but we never actually went to find him. So it's like, is that just not happening, or what? Like, what? Okay, they're busting out TVs. What the hell? Why are they inside TVs and why are they deciding to jump out now? Okay. Well, it doesn't sound like it. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't sound like. 
Hope realizes that. Even though, how the fuck could you not? It's like just obvious. Well, how how more obvious could it be? Is there anything in the garden? Uh, money. What's this? A knife. Oh, there's no sp zombie spawning. I'm on the grass. But maybe that's like for the front. Okay. I know how to open that autophage doorway. I know how to do it. That's all I had to do. All I had to do was to go in fury mode to open that shit. I don't know why, but it didn't seem obvious to me because I don't really recall ever having to go into fury mode to open a doorway. Which I feel like is why I didn't think of doing that straight away. Metal bat. Suitcase. Alright, hang on. Okay. So I gotta go to the house on the hill now, do I? Enter the deeper. Another one. So now I've got to go to the house on the hill. Still need a crossbow, I think, to open that one. The door's open this time. humanity through us but to be saved we have to die ah I see come I have a place to process the grief my gift to house the deeper okay. uh, she fell for it mm-hmm and we're apparently the savior of these people What the hell kind of whole way is this? Oh, what's in the basement? Okay. Well, there's a lot of flammable shit all over the floor. Let's add to it. Sit your ass down. Alright, let's turn that off. Let me pick this up. Put this fire out. Back upstairs. Can I go upstairs? 
Did I go upstairs? No, I didn't. Okay, well, it looks like I need to go in fury mode again. No good. What? I'm hearing breathing. It's like right in my ear. No, that wasn't it. Okay, what's up here then? Nothing, not much. Okay, nothing else. What's up the attic? Is that breathing? I keep hearing breathing in my ears. Okay, what's this? Another weapon box? Oh. Gotcha. That's where you get scum. Right. Now to go down that weird ass hallway. This is so weird. How it's angled like this. Oh, it looks like they didn't get to finish all this. What the hell is all this? What the hell is all this? This is a workbench? Looks like I need a crossbow to get in there. Where is all this coming from? Can I jump in? No, nah, nothing's happening. Is this horror? Might as well be. Well, that's a safety hazard. Oh yeah. This place is so weird. Oh, there's a hole in the wall, okay. Alright, well, hang on. 
Right, I'm not gonna go that way just yet. I wanna check the other side first. Could I jump down there? I think I can I I think I can see the bottom. I think. Let me check the other side. Alright, well let me just uh scrap this. And then pick that up. There you go, just burn him. Alright, put that there. Okay. Alright, he's dead. What about you? Hey, you're dead. What's in here? Oh, another sword. So let's grab this one. I right, grab this and chuck it down. Oh, let me pour it down. I'm gonna chuck it down there. Now let's go this way. What's with these weird looking pipes sticking out the walls? Oh, there's a zombie over there. Yeah, not going down there. What is all this? Like, how much is there? Gotta make sure every time. Huh? Oh, you're not dead, are you? Alright, you, right, you're alive. Get up, you're burning. Alright, there you go. First aid cap. What does this say? Are you serious? I'm trying to read right now. Oh, what's this? A neatly written letter. What does it say? My wife. I am sorry. I almost broke my promise to you and gave him. I have met Constantine. He showed me a terrible future. In some ways, I am glad you will never see it. Okay, then they brought me to the Deba, the host. She says, it is a place to think, but not how. Senses are dulled by sound, smells, light, and more drugs than I've ever seen in my life. We are all like mourners, celebrating the end of days. The only comfort down here is a simple way out, the pits. Like swimming pools with no water and no bottom. So many things in house do not make sense, yet they feel right. One step is an escape from the dark future. Constantine is kind. Then there's Australians beside me. He said he's only here to he's only here thanks to me, so he will follow my lead. I step forward, he steps forward. If I step back and get a drink, he'll drink with me. I will not be alone. But then he says if we do step forward, he would like one drink for the road. A small comfort in the dark. We drank for hours. The future is dark, yes, but house is a pathway of light. And I found a brother searching for that same light. We will follow Constantine together and build a future beside him. I know if I take this route, I will never see you again. I never have... Well, I have never had your faith. Could not see your path. But I found my own, my love. I pray you would be proud. Anthony. Oh, Anthony. All right then. He was just enjoying a snack. 
so what is this? Just like a shit old crack den? Drinking, drugs, all that stuff. Probably orgies as well. Just basically like a place to literally forget. Because you drink and do drugs so much. Like you're literally wiped out for like the next week or so. I'm going to jump that. What's on this side? A katana. Alright, well let me scrap this. I, I knew there was something on this side. Now I've got to jump back. Alright. Nice. Okay. Look at all the glass on the floor. Like people have been smashing up bottles and it's just like everywhere. Okay, what's this way? How big is this place? I don't even know if I'm going the right, like if I'm going out, like away or not. Like if I'm going the way forward or I'm taking like a side way, just exploring. Right, nothing here. How deep is the swimming pool? I don't even know where I am. I'm like looking at this, it doesn't really say much. Oh, what's this? Pit the dog. Well, let me read this real quick. Urgent. Pit rescue plan. We were playing fetch with Angelina's dog when it jumped into the pool pit. Good news. We heard it bark after it fell. Bad news. It hasn't barked since. We gotta get down there and rescue that dog. Checklist of what we need. Lots of clothes and suits for rope. Someone strong to hold rope. People to climb down. More the merrier. Someone to bring treats for dog. A basket to carry dog. Figure it out when we down figure out when down there. Nobody tell Constantine or Veronica about this. If they tell the dragon lady what happened, everyone involved is fucked. There is nothing written on the page in different handwriting. Update. Dog found sleeping on a TV. Help still required to rescue the rescue party. Hang on, let me kick this let me hang on. Let come over here so I can kick you in the pool. Alright, get in the pool. Bye bye. Okay. All right, Ryan. All right. All right. What does this say? The rubber duck incident. Okay. A N G. Deeper candidates are now refusing to cooperate with check-ins because you won't let them have a rubber duck for their bath time. Fix this. Fur. No ducks. Ang. It's disrupting my reports, Veronica. Just let the children have their fucking toys. Fur. Oh, but that ha but that is how it starts. I have gone through this before. One person, they say, ah, an un canard silver plate, silver plate, and so you give him. But it does not end at one duck. None. Someone else wants their duck, and the next person too. Everyone wants their rubber duck. Duck fever spreads like a rash. Soon, all is duck. You have a flock of actual living ducks in your care. Shitting all over... Walls of rubber ducks demands are for clothing featuring these foul fowls. And so you begin production. Creativity st stiffles. You become the duck. The beauty of your original vision is lost in a sea of dry bird shit and lumps of cheap yellow PVC congregating in one large destructed, deconstructed mollard. No ducks. And you've gone through all this before, Joss. I consulted Constantine. 
proposal. The deeper may have a single communal duck. Any additional ducks introduced are to be immediately thrown down the pits. Any objections? There. I would prefer to incinerate them, but I can agree to this. Just resolved. Fred closed. All of that over a rubber duck. What the hell? You dead? Okay, you're dead. How big is this place? I don't know if I've been here before because it's like such a maze. Okay, I have been here, right. Because I went that way, okay. Okay, now remember, right, let me run back this way then. Okay. Wait, what does that say? Uh, I've seen that. I've seen that before in the sewers. Oh, a crusher. Okay. Yeah, he's too big for me to kick him in the pit. Oh, he nearly went in. How bit? How deep are these? and why are they there? Kickstart. Oh. It's a card. What's the card? Give the zombies the boot. Kicks drain more stability from zombies and greatly reduce zombies' real resilience against fire shock and caustic damage. Um... I think I'll stick with what I've got. This is such a strange place. Now this is exactly the type of weird shit rich people get up to. Sit back down in the chair. Oh, you want to get up? Sit back down. You want to get up? Sit back down. Okay, moving on. Hey, you Veronique? Not anymore. I'm Vero. Or perhaps Honey. Well, I'm Brian Noid. No, you are here. You want a drink? Drugs? We have uppers, downers, inside outers, sensation enhancers. Ah, this place is trippy enough. Single-minded. Constantine chose wisely. I'm not buying this destiny shit. If you think you're gonna suck me into your little cult, you can forget it. Cult? You call us a cult? Come on. All these weird rituals, the kinky latex... Pfft, this is haute couture. A reminder that our bodies do not define us. Shh, whatever. This place is as culty as it gets. No, no, no. We made house to prepare the Chosen for ascension. Cult? To preserve humanity. Cult? Before the zombies devour the world. Cult? Wait, what? You predicted the Zompocalypse? Constantine showed us this future. Wait, wait. If you were ready for this, why do you need me? Huh? Huh? Constantine's timing was a little off. The future is all to tie down. It squirms. But it's okay. You will save Constantine. 
and the Ascended. We'll see. I'm taking you back to your body. Perfect. I will rest. Now I'm in safe hands. Just give me a slap when we arrive. A bientôt. So wait, is she just sleeping while I carry her head? Uh, Veronica, Veronica, where's your safe key? And how do I get down there as well? Okay, well maybe I need the crossbow to get down there. So wait, I got to run all the way. Okay, I got to run all the way back. Great, I'm gonna have to chop your head a second. Pick a head back up. Maybe I might just run past them all. That probably will be quicker. I think I'm just going to run for it. Yeah, that's fine. Don't mind me, Veronica. You just fucking sleep while I'm running through all this shit, carrying your dumbass head. No, run, wait, run, wait. This way, this way. Oh shit, oh shit. Move. Oh yeah, let me hit them with a head. Okay, I got one behind me. That's an... Alright, I'm dropping a head. I actually hit them with her head. That's funny. Wait, hang on, let me do this. Are they actually gonna go down there? Oh my god, they actually are. Well, he did. Jesus Christ. Kicked him to the other side. Baseball bat. I'll just leave that there. Pick her head back up. I can actually hit zombies with her head. <laughs> just beating the shit out of them with her head. Right, let me just run past them. Get out of this shithole. Put her head back on her body. And what's up with her eye? It's like, all like fucked up as well. Alright, let me drop her head. Somehow her head's still intact. Normally getting head in the club would be good, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, but not this time. Not this way. Uh what? Why is there grass now on the pathway, or is it in between it? Why is the pathway now all, like, it's all swervy, and there's, like, grass in between it? What the hell? Well, this wasn't shut before, and that wasn't there before. Was that there before? How to get ahead. I don't think that was there before. Okay, start at the feet and work your way upwards. Look under hat, hold the ears and pull. Cut one out of the painting, gloomy though. Ask Johan, Young Ho, he'll give you uh, a free hand. Tickle Veronica until she squeals, that's a clue. Petition Constantine for a prediction. Eat it caped. P dictate. Adept at ice. Die tet cap. Tick p data. 
get a bite to eat and we will all be re revealed and all be revealed. What the fuck? Come on, then open the door. I pressed the button. I'll go wait for that first, okay. Veronique, have you lost weight? <laughs> Yes, Yongo Zed is in the diner, but you will need a special weapon to reach him. Iris had it. Okay, now we're talking. Who's Iris? Our visionary artist. Look for the weapon at the well in the forest. Darling Iris was killed there. A real tragedy, huh? There is Constantine. I just hope it hasn't moved. The weapon moves? No, the well. House does strange things. Buff, I just go with it. Great. I apologize, Veronique, for not embracing you. My legs do not seem to be taking my calls. Your company is more than enough, mon ami. Alright then. I guess I'll uh taking good care of our special friend in my absence. I'll leave you two to it. Oh my. Oh yeah. if Iris saw any more visions before ascension. We must ask. Once we are all reunited again. It will not be long now. Constantine will not fail us. We should make the most of this opportunity. Let's switch heads, Vincent. <laughs> Truly explore our bodies together. Okay, that's what. I already know your body very well. Mm, but my memory of yours has gone dull. If only I had use of my hands. I have such an urge to create. What? Alright, I'll leave them two freaks to it. Mm. So now, most spend weeks in the deeper, struggling under the weight of Constantine's vision, or just throw themselves into the pits. I was right about you. I know what's waiting for me on the other side, but I'm ready to ascend. Prove it. How though? She must have a weak mind. Find the mis and it's the forest. Of it. Yeah, find the f mysterious well. But where do I even begin? Okay. Okay, it was a bit quiet. Wait, what's over here? Something's over here. This is a workbench. Okay, that's a workbench. Actually, let me repair this. And let me let me switch to a different weapon. 
Yeah, let me switch to the brutalizer. This is so weird. Eesh, crispy. What the hell happened to these guys? This is some weird ass freak shit. Diner? What are these ones? Missing leg. Get okay, out, it's just here, so back this way. What the hell is this? Wait, is this where the blood goes to that bathtub? Diner. Total massacre. Alright, come here. Gonna get you to the center and burn you. There's still more of this crackhead forest to explore. This is some weird shit. A walker, okay. What's this? Diners this way. Just die. Need that bitch in the face. Wait, what's over here? Shut up. Just more burnt stuff. Gunpowder. Cremator machete. Uh, let me, uh, let me, yeah, let me scrap that, pick that up. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. It's so weird. Owl knows. Cult shit. That's what they were doing. Diner. More zombies. This place is very strange. Oh! Yeah, that's right. So many crawlers! Right, drop your ass.
All right, good, you're dead. Now shut up. It's just everywhere. These crackheads are everywhere. Okay. Yeah, there's another one. There's a phone box. Two birds of a feather, one stone. Pre-combat report. I've randomly selected Rodney versus Anthony for the next trial by combat. Rodney is a promising candidate. It is true he is a criminal. However, the promised housemates has given him purpose. His only true blemish was an inadequate offering to the rite of sacrifice, an oversight in Vincent's design. Which brings me to the cause of that blemish. Antoine's soft, emotional, barely passed the rites, yet drags another candidate, such as Rodney, down with him. His devotion to a long dead spouse shows he is not yet willing to let go for Constantine's sake. This combat will solve two problems. Okay. So those are the two, like, best friends that became best friends because of all this weird shit. Okay, there's nothing that way. Just more crawlers. Okay. Well, before I go that way, I want to check what's over this way first. That was a car over here. Okay. Cause this ain't weird. Okay, what's this say? My time is now. Brothers and sisters, now is the time for my final test. My opportunity to prove I am truly ready. I do not go with fear in my heart, and neither should you. In the deeper I broke boundaries imposed, my, imposed by society, fulfilled my earthly desires, and indulged every carnal fantasy. The physical world, as it is, has nothing left to offer me. Whether my existence ceases here, or I ascend to be part of what comes next, I know my mortal journey is complete. When the time comes for me to raise my hand in combat to one of you, I will do so with joy, knowing that what lies ahead for us both, for Constantine. How does this not sound like a cult? To Veronica. It's an absolute cult. And what does this open? Oh, the trunk of the car. But I need a crossbow apparently for that stuff. Okay, and what's over this way? Okay. It's just some random golden deer statues. Can I go this way? Well, well, well. Oh. Light the fires. Prepare the combatants. For those of you who seek ascension, let us see. Who is worthy? Fine, we will do it your way. Okay, so I need to light pies to open the gate. Simple. 